Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen again, it's Greggy again, two or two videos in a day, unheard of from my channel. Uh, yeah, so this is a birthday present from my wife, my birthday was about was the beginning of May, May the 3rd, so I've got a couple of kits. Uh, I've got this one and obviously I've got the, I'm going to tell you, we have to wait. you know my favourite tank so that's all I'm going to say. So I've got this, my wife bought me this one, this is a new edition from Border. It's the Japanese tiger which never actually got sent across, but presumably this is what it would sort of look like um, if it did. So it's a what if tank. Again, it's from Border and it looks quite nice. I must admit, we're having the, uh, the aerial like that around the, down around the, uh, the turret, slightly different, isn't it? Yeah, it's something different, just something slightly different. Uh, CAD drawings on there and kit number for this one is BT023 and again the artwork from Jason superb artwork and the figure as well is uh, by Jason as well if it comes with the kit and yeah, I love I do like his artwork it's it looks stunning it really does and again we've got a picture of sort of the finished one with Japanese markings on there and a smaller machine gun, I couldn't tell you what machine gun that is, I wouldn't have a clue. Tiger One early Japanese version 1944. So without further ado, let us have a look. I'm really having a good look at said these since I got them, to be perfectly honest, we've, uh, we've been busy, so let's have a look. A lot of them will obviously be the same same sprue as their uh, right as their borders uh, early tiger. And these will be just like new parts added to it. I like this one. We've got some boxes, you've got part of the aerial by looking at it. We've got the machine gun. All nicely detailed again. We've got the aerial. It's part of the aerial mass, I presume that is part of a structure. I'm sure. A couple of Japanese helmets, pick. Again, the detail is nice. That's a lovely cast texture on the turret on the turret mantlet. Again, all beautifully moulded. Again, we've got lids for these boxes. Yeah, these are almost like, looks like boxes. So we've got the lids for the boxes. Again, nicely done. Only injection marks you get are what you're not going to see. We've got the star that goes onto the front. You know, like Japanese have the stars, like the big elements on the bows of, the, of their battleships. So one presumes they do with a lot of their vehicles as well. We can see the stars, can we see the stars where my fingers are? Yep. Yeah. That's better, you can see them now. I've got two stars there. And again, the detail is lovely. We've got a bit of slide moulding going on there. Don't know what that part is at the moment, but it's slide moulded. Yep, yeah. um, we've got some track pin, or well, pins the end pieces of the tracks. I presume they're for the spur tracks, I would presume, but I could be wrong. So we shall move on to the next one, next next sprue. We'll go for this one first. We'll do the uh, lower hull and a turret. And somewhere else in there as well. So let's check it all out, is it? Oh no, it's just a way it's been busy. So this looks like the yeah, this is the outside because all the weld seams. Not a lot of texture on this. So I'll be adding texture to that, but the actual mould itself is really, really nice. Again, there's all different things on there, slightly different where for the Japanese version, but we've still got the, uh, I presume that's the uh, shell ejection door or load and whatever you want, and I've got a pistol port on that side as well. But so there's very little texture on there. We'll have to look into that and see. And again, it's what if, so you know, I will presume it's a similar sort, it's a bit of the same texture as the German Tiger. Shouldn't be any different because it's come from the same same place, same factories. But again, still nicely molded, nice little weld seams. You can always add your own as well. We don't happy with those. Workable suspension, I think, but it looks like we've got torsion bars. Again. All nicely done. Again, you can add your own weld seams again if you really want to. Detail, you know, I've got a lot of us, you know, what to wear all the uh, swing arms and bump stops and all that kind of stuff. Again, yes, if this is the Tiger 1, 
2021 when they first when they first brought their tiger out. So this is, uh, I guess, I presume just they're uh, using the same part, which is understandable. Why should they start doing anything different? If you've got this, if you've got the full wear and it doesn't need altering, use it. I would be doing the same. I was a company as well. Uh, yeah, so we've got more. We've got sort of the upper hull, uh, rear uh, side skirts, the usual tiger stuff. Yeah, all nicely done again. Nice detail. Nice cast section on the where the filler cars, where the filler goes for the. I think it's for the. Is it water? Water, fuel, and fuel. Not a percent, I think. So you can't see. I think it's water in these two and fuel in these two, if I'm not mistaken. But again, all nicely detailed. Really nice. This this needs texture. This needs texture added to it. Again, no really injection marks where you know, where you don't want them anyhow. Nice detail again on them. Yep. Again. Side skirts. You can either make your own. What I tend to do now, I was thinking, is just keeping them as a whole part. And maybe trying to, no, it wouldn't work, so forget what I was going to say. But they are quite thin. So you probably could use it, thin them down with a good uh, file. But they're easy. The glass balls are easy to damage as well. Like if you've got to make them that thin, you can uh, damage them up. Again, all nice and correct and positioned beautifully and printed. Well, they're printed, but uh, injected nicely. So we have the dreaded wheels for the Tiger now. And we have a bit of interior detail, i.e. the fuel drums and the radiators and the fans. We've got two screws of this, so we shall just take the one out as normal. And we're going to have a look. I presume there's be a few spares to go into the spares bin. I'm going to have to be both out. Out. Quite a big sprue. Road wheels look nice. Nice, nice bolt risen heads. On, uh, bolt heads risen, and we've got markings on the tyres as well. Can't quite read what it says, but on the rubber part, we have the uh, presumably the manufacturer. We have radiator covers, radiators, fans, five part of the five full fuel can, and water. Again, all nicely moulded. Some very, very fine detail on here. Clamps and things like that. Some of the torsion bars. Again, all nicely printed. Printed? All nicely moulded. Some printing on my head for. Again, the wheels. All the wheels are there. I don't know if, it, if I zoom in, if you can maybe write, make out any of the writing on there. I can't see, but I'm in a magnifying glass. I know it's there because I can just make it out. And then on the other side, we have a lot of fine stuff. It's obviously got this is for the. Uh, we've got the radiator and fuel. Lots of little clasps and part of the FIFO system, radiator. And again, we've got the fans for the top of the radiator. Yeah, all nicely done, really nicely mode, a lot of fine parts on there, so we have to be very, very careful taking those off. Even the um, shackles have got a texture to them, if you look at it quite closely. You can see the shackles have got, actually got a, like a cast texture on there as well. Nice, very nice. And... Uh, I'm just mid video in Charlotte. It's just me youngest coming back in, but uh, with the little man. So I thought I'd get to see him before they all came back, but obviously I didn't. But, uh, we'll get there, it's just nice, still nice and quiet. So, let's have a look at here, we've got the turret lid, turret uh, ring, pistol port hatch, the uh, ejection hatch. One piece barrel, bit of P, uh, sorry, bit of um, breech detail, bit of slide moulding for the gun and for the um, gun muzzle, muzzle brake, 
fine stuff again cupola again it's all nicely done really nicely done all nicely done there's one piece barrel but I think if I'm not mistaken there's a metal barrel in it I can't remember what it said on the front of the box but there's one piece there so you've only got the seam line to take out so it's not a big problem if there's not metal barrel I think maybe when I get to it right another one we have crinkle crinkle a lot of people don't don't like the crinkle lock off if you don't want to wash the crinkle part of the excitement of opening and unboxing oh that's lovely that's really nice and lovely detail on the uh, inside of the hatches and no sink marks that's stunning that's stunning look at that that's really nice and again part of a transmission the uh, outer house and the transmission covers yeah, more detail, more engine stuff. Pioneer tools. And we got the part of the radiators that run pinks to sit in. The you know the fans. I've got the grids at the top. And we've got the they're quite thin actually those. The uh, shrouds for the exhaust. They're really thin. Never seen them as thin as that. Let's see, you can see how thin they are. Not as thin as PE, but really quite thin for plastic, though. And a part of the fire we've got the uh, pattern on the uh, the pipes as well. That's nice. And we've got the jack block. Yeah, and everything's there. All nicely done. All nicely moulded. Pioneer tills are all there, uh, other little bits and bobs, again, nice. Tracks, so it isn't, it can't make them, um, it's Lincoln length tracks, but depending on what you want to do with it, if it's just going to be a static display with no uneven ground then fine, but Sometimes I like to try and vary a bit by uh, making the suspension work like I'm obviously with the Tiger I'm doing but I have to say the tracks look really nice from the outside face anyhow I've got the individual guide arms to put on which is not a problem really there's a couple of injection marks in there but some of them are there's a couple of uh, risen ones and mainly sunk, so it won't take long to get out with a file or a bit of filler in there and smooth them out. It's just on the long runs, not on the individual tracks. So that's what I'm saying with the individual tracks, that's just the long lengths you got them just on one part of it. So that needs to get them out. And the tracks themselves are nicely moulded and on the front. It's a really nice looking track. Again, you can't, you can't knock a quality at all. You really can't. I see people don't don't like putting the um, individual guide on. It's easy once you, it really is quite easy. It's not it's not a big deal to do it. You know, can't make everything too easy for us, can we? Right. Well, we do get a metal barrel, and we get some little bits and pieces in here. Let's be nice. Got a figure, I've got a bit of PE as well, a clear. I've got the clear stuff. I'd like to have been that in a in a single bag, but it's there uh, at least we've got it. We do have a aluminium barrel. So that cuts out the other one. So we can go in a spares box. Again. It's always a nice touch when you get things like that. We have Oop. Let's get the figure out first, I think. Now we've got these, uh, if you wanted to use them. PE 
fir, uh, you know, palm tree things, whatever. If you can use them as somewhere. Again, somewhat different. Not much PE in here, but I've got plenty of old PE bits from Tigers, so we can always add that. Got the grid, the so the uh, usual PE, so I've got the glare. The covers for the engine hatch, uh, sorry, for the uh, engine deck. I've got a very, very, very small deco sheet. It's got the Japanese emblems. It's in white if you can make it out. And the figure, again, somewhat different again, nice bit of figure work, have a figure in there, and it's, been, it's resin as well, you've got a nice detail on that, the Japanese commander figure, that's really quite nice. Let's see what the head looks like. Yeah, it's really nice actually. Really nice. All these binoculars. You can see the face. Well, that's really quite nice. So that'll be definitely used, obviously, with you being a Japanese tiger. Well, you know, it would have been, I should say. But, uh, yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'll put this back in here so I know where he's at. I'd have been a normal tiger build apart from that first sprue, but it's just something different, isn't it? Something different. And then we have... We have a box for now. We have a colour call out. Again... Satin black, all wood, yellow. These are all ammo. Rubber tyres, medium rust, blue green, rust tracks, dark tracks, gun metal, khaki, medium brown. Yes. At least you've got a aerial view as well, so your camouflage pattern, you can see the whole thing. Very. Basically, just like a German one, really, isn't it? But slightly different colour variations. And the area on the back, and then boxes go in the area. Ah, that's what they are. I see. Oh, well. And then we have the instructions again. We've got a nice picture of the uh, box box art there again. Really nice. I won't spend too long on this, but it gives you well, a bit of information on here. Look. A bit of history. On September the 1st, 1943. Blah, 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 blah. Let, uh, if you want, I don't know if you can... Pause that. If I do look like that, you can maybe read it. I'll bring it in a bit. Wait a minute. Yeah, so that's the. Uh, yeah. If the war had gone on, the Germans basically thought they were going to send him, but the Germans needed every other tank they can get their hands on in 1944, so obviously it didn't happen. Uh, yeah, it's a normal thing. We've got the first page. We have, I said, that um, bit of bump. Uh, screw map. Again, right there. And then we can just start off with the normal build. Starting with the lower hole. You know, wheels, tracks, obviously we don't put them on at this stage, but we build them up. You don't have to build the tracks up if you don't want to at that point. And then we're starting on the engine, so the upper, upper hull, all nicely cleared. Directions, looks fairly straightforward. If you build a tiger, you, you know, what, you know one tiger is like another to a certain degree. And then we've got the PE parts going on for the um, grilled. few marks that we have to drill so just watch that and again with the uh, exhausts again we go on the back there's nothing nothing difficult on this at all it's fairly straightforward can't see anything being very difficult to uh, do again
Some of it's different. They say the machine guns are different again for the um, ball mount one. That looks like a typical Japanese one. I don't know what it's called. I'll have to look into that and see what it's called. Obviously, uh, anti aircraft gun as well on it. And then we've got, a bit of, we've got a bit of turret detail, like I said. We've got uh, commander's seat, loader's seat, uh, a, bit of, a bit of breech detail. So if you can leave the hatches open, you can see a little bit of detail. Again. Nothing, nothing difficult again. Got plenty of detail on the end, on the inside of the uh, hatches. Again, nice. And then we've got the metal barrel, and then we've got the slide molded uh, muzzle brake. And then we're putting the pupil together, the smoke launchers. And then we're putting the boxes and the aerial round. Yeah, they were the aerial parts where I thought they were. They were the, uh, attached to the main aerial. And then we've got some track along the top of the uh, turret. Again, that's it really, nothing nothing difficult at all. And then we've got the same. Is it the same? Yeah. Just the same thing again on the printing and marking. Again, they've done it, it looks a bit blocky, so I presume that's why they've uh, done a separate sheet. It looks just looks a bit blocky, if you see what I mean. Around the tracks and that. Yeah, so it's a nice little kit. Nice kit, so it's slightly different. Look forward to that. Yeah, see, so you've got the palm trees on the back of there. If you look at it closely, you've got some palm trees on the back, so you possibly could use them up and things like that. So, but yeah, nice, 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 nice. So, I say I'll do another unboxing probably tomorrow or later on tonight. I'll see how I get on. But, um, Again, thanks for stopping by and viewing, and uh, the subscribers, new and old, welcome aboard. Uh, yeah, so I've got another unboxing coming up either today or tomorrow. We'll have to see. I've got two videos done today, so and a bit of work done, so we'll go from there. Yeah, we'll go from there. Right, so it's Greg signing off, and we'll catch you very, very soon with. Uh, the next unboxing and after that it'll be another update on the tiger build with the truck so we'll catch you then so this is greg signing off and we'll see you very soon